what a way to start. In their hearts, true competitors love nothing more than to do battle on the world's biggest stage. And in the pantheon of marble racing, there's nothing bigger than this. Hello, everybody. I'm Greg Woods, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the first ever installment of Marbula One here at the Savage Speedway. As we saw in qualifying, this track has not been kind to the Savage Speeders. Our grid lined up and ready to go. It's the O'Rangers at the start, lights are on, and we're rolling around the turn. The O'Rangers lead coming off the grid. They all, nearly all at the front, opt to the outside. 10 laps in this race, and the O'Rangers got a bad jump off the ramp. They fall back to third place. Galactic and the Hazers are up in front. Snowballs in fourth, hounding the top three. Outside of Galactic, way up front as we enter the front stretch for the first time. Looks like we do have a couple that come through the pit lane. No real penalty for doing that, but the field locked as they come up the conveyor belt for the first time. Galactic out in front. Team Primary makes the jump to second place. And then nearly fending off a challenge there on the inside by the Hazers. And now they fall back, getting completely swarmed on the inside. The O'Rangers are fighting back just a little bit. Snowballs up into second now. Galactic have lost that giant lead that they had down the front stretch on lap number one. Coming across in lap number two, we do have a lead change. The Snowballs out in front. They drift to the inside to try to block. Now back to the outside. Contact between Galactic and Primary across the line to end lap number two. Hazers up into fourth. Mellow Yellow make an appearance up into fifth. You hold your breath just slightly as they come up the conveyor belt. Down they come on lap number three now. Several more opting for the inside line after that first set of corners coming off of the jump. Snowballs handling things pretty well here. Primary in second. Savage Speeders up into third place, starting dead last and 16th are now trying to make a move for second. They're in great position here to try to win the first race of the entire season on their home course. Up they come and it's gonna be neck and neck, Snowballs and Primary. Who gets the better jump off the ramp? And it is Team Primary. Savage Speeders holding on to third. They've got a little bit of a gap. They'll move to the inside. Top two take the outside. Snowball's trying to set up through the S's to make a move through that final hairpin. This is the kind of course that you have to set things up several corners in advance if you want to make it work. Running on the ragged edge of adhesion. Out onto the front stretch they come, and a good launch off the corner by Savage Speeders, but they hit the attenuator of the pit lane. That slows them down. Several lengths go by, and they also have a brief difficulty getting onto the conveyor belt. Primary, their lead, stretching out now on lap number five, halfway through this race. They opt to the inside, snowballs go to the outside. Galactic in third, now Savage Speeders having to deal with the Green Ducks back behind them. The Green Ducks would love to stop their charge for the front and get themselves past the Savage Speeders. Out onto the front stretch, everybody avoiding that sign now. And also, I think, trimmed it back a little bit. Down they come here and some good moves being made just as the camera cuts away. Snowballs having a little bit of pressure now from Galactic. Primary continues to stretch their lead. And as I say that, a slow launch off of the conveyor belt and it's neck and neck with the Snowballs. Now to the inside, Galactic moves and gets second place. Well set up there, they position themselves perfectly. The S's here and now the Savage Speeders have dropped off quite a bit. They've fallen back several spots now and their chance at getting on the podium has it evaporated. Also, we get a lead change. Galactic, with some contact down the front stretch from the top three marbles, gets all the way into first place. Team Galactic, Starry at the helm, leading team primary. That's Prim. The Snowballs, they've chosen Snowy. And a little bit of difficulty now with the Hazers who jump on by him for third. The Hazers led by Hazy. Team Galactic around the final turn. Out onto the front stretch. I keep forgetting that the start finish line is actually one more turn after that. You usually think of it as on the front stretch, but with the conveyor belt set up, things are a little bit different here in Marbula 1. It's going to take some getting used to, but we'll get there. Now into the final couple of laps of this race. The Hazers, big loss of speed. Team Primary closes right up and jumps straight over the curbs. We have a lead change coming off of the jump. The Hazers briefly had it. Galactic takes it back. Primary in third. You nudge off that inside wall. It lets you shoot off the curbs, and generally that looks to be the quicker way to do it. Then you follow the stagger of the track and lean your way to the inside before missing that little chevron that sends you back to center. Now into lap number nine. Galactic and the Hazers up in front. O'Rangers are pole sitters all the way down in fifth. But this is anybody's race thus far, heading into the penultimate lap. Moving to the inside, Hazers. Now, 
on the inside of the next turn, Galactic gets by. Already several lengths lead for them. Team Primary looks to pounce off the momentary slowing. That may make, let Galactic get a big lead heading into the final lap. They're slow off of that turn though, and they head into the pit lane. Also, Hazers do the same. It's a slightly slower way around, but not the end of the world. Galactic will have a narrow lead coming off the ramp. Can they hold it? They jump to the side a little bit, but they do hold the lead into the final lap of the opening Grand Prix of Marbula One. Two to the outside, one to the end. That's the Hazers on the inside. Now they get a great launch off the jump and move into second place. Galactic still up in front. We'll launch around those curves. Snowball's holding in fourth and a big gap back to our pole sitters, the O'Rangers with Clementine. Off the final turn. On the front stretch, heading into the final term, I should say. Team Galactic up in front. The Hazers are going to close right up in on them around the final turn. It will be Team Galactic. And Starry getting the win. Across the line, the rest of the competitors come in front of the stands. Those are prime seats right there. Speedy from the Savage Speeders did recover and set the fastest lap on lap number three. A bonus point going to them. That's why you see them in green. So congratulations to Snowy, Hazy, and the very first Marbula 1 GP winner for Team Galactic, Starry. So we take a look at the standings after race number one. 25 points to the winner, 18 for Hazers, 15 for the Snowballs, the Limers, and several others down at the bottom are yet to get any points. Our next race will be at the O Raceway. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more.